This is the Arapuka bird trap and it requires some cordage. So I've run the cordage from this stick to the adjacent stick, from here to the other adjacent stick, making an X, and then I just started building a log cabin inside the cordage, all the way till I got to the very top. And then I layered the sticks so there's no space in between them at the very top part, so that the cordage couldn't push the sticks any closer together. And then all that tension in the cordage keeps this bird trap together. So I put two sticks here where I can tension down the cordage and make it even tighter and just in case it's too loose. This is a split stick triggering system. So you need more cordage to go in and tie off to the, the stick and make a loop that goes around the split stick. Then you put your bait on the inside. You can either tie it to the top or put it in the in, inside the cordage so that when the bird goes in, they trip over it, causes the triggering mechanism to release and the cage to fall down on them. Now on top where I've got all these sticks touching, where they're so compact they won't move, you pull those out. If I need to, I can release a little bit of the tension, but I pull these sticks out and I've only created enough space for my hand to fit down in there to grab the bird. I don't want too much space at the top because the bird could fly out and I don't want to have to lift this up to try to get the bird because again it could get out. Just enough space for my hand to fit through and for me to pull the bird out because the more space you have at the top the more likely it is that the bird can escape. But it's a really simple design once you have it as long as you have the cordage to set it up. If, if you don't have enough cordage to set that up, set the triggering system up, a split stick, and you could use a figure four if you had to. You could use other methods, but I find that the split stick works best for this type of trap. Now, to make the split stick, all I did was take a stick, cut it with my saw on both sides, so about an inch and a half apart, and I just broke that, and that gave me two equal parts. So I didn't have to do a lot of carving. That'll save you a lot of time if you have a saw or some way that you can cut that down and notch it equal lengths on each side, about halfway on each side, and then you can just split it.